Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be checking out a brand new map by Rockrunner Gaming, and this map is entirely designed around the gameplay style of realistic trail riding and camping roleplay. Now, this map is very similar to what you would see out of a Mudrunner map. Think of it in the same vein as a Mudrunner trail riding map brought forward into the SnowRunner days, except for everything is, like, new. This is not a revamp of an old map. This is an entirely new original map. Now, another thing about the truck that I am using real quick, this is yeah Buddy's 2022 Toyota Tundra, and you can find more information about this truck on yeah Buddy's Discord server, which I will have linked along with the map in the description box down below. Now, of course, this is a PC-only branded truck, and it is also a premium truck, so do keep those things in mind, whereas the map, I do believe as of recording this video, the map has not yet been approved for consoles, but it's at the same time, I see no reason why the map couldn't be approved later on down the road in the future, and if and when the map does get approved for consoles, I'll make a pinned comment down below, letting you guys know that it has, of course, been approved. But without any further ado, let's fire this truck up, and let's uh, let's take a look around. Let's take a look at this area. This area definitely promises to deliver a very realistic experience, and I'm going into it with some high hopes, because obviously with it being a Rock Runner map, my hopes are already quite high, and... With it being centered around, you know, realistic trail riding and rock crawling and, and and even camping RP dynamics, I think, you know, when you add those things into it, it makes it even more exciting. You already have a campsite literally right there, right off the bat. Now, does that give you... Oh, dude, that gives you access to, like, rock crawling trails literally right out of the gate. I don't know if I want to start with that one, though. I think I want to drive down the main road a little bit further and see where it goes, but I'm already a big fan of what I'm seeing. Now, I love how they give you a main road to kind of explore as a base, you know what I mean? So, the main road can kind of connect you to anything, and then you, yourself, can choose whether or not to branch off on different trails, like little different side, you know, spurs, basically, if and when you choose. We got another- Whoa! This is like- This view is incredible. One of the coolest aspects of this map I bet would be to just try to find as many of these crazy viewpoints as humanly possible. I mean, look at that. I mean, in photo mode, you want to talk about just a absolutely gorgeous map. This, this is going to be one of your best bets. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful out here. Everything from canyons to bridges to just you know insane viewpoints and everything i mean this map already has kind of more aspects than a lot of the trail riding maps that you see and we haven't even experienced any of the trails themselves yet all right let's head off of the main road now and check out one of these side trails this one looks pretty interesting where does it go i mean it starts to wind up the edge of this mountain but I kind of want to find one that looks a little bit more challenging, but at the same time, ooh, that one starts to, yeah, I think we'll, we'll do that one, because that one looks like it kind of corkscrews back and forth on itself. That one looks super fun. So let's head on across the bridge. We got another massive, like, canyon slash ravine. Man, you don't want to fall in there. That would be, that would be a bit sketch if you ended up doing that. Is this the one? No, we got to go a little bit further down. This is the pull-off that we're talking about. I love how each one of these trails has a little pull-off area at the base so that if you're towing a rock crawler, you can pull your tow rig in and unload your rock crawler and then head up the trail with your rock crawler. That would add another really cool dynamic to playing this map with your friends. All right, let's see what these trails are all about. Let's go ahead and put it in low because that's honestly how I feel, you know, Rock Runner designed these trails to be enjoyed. Oh my God, that is... Well, this trail gets right down to it. You are literally right into the mud, right out of the gate. God, that is steep, too, to get out. Man, we're using every last bit of the 39-inch tires that we have on this 2022 Tundra. Come on, easy. Oh, oh my God, it's already slipping. It's already having issues finding traction. But again, that's like, that's super realistic. Like, you are literally going to find that with some trails. Put it in high. Let's see if we can scramble it. There we go. 
I love how it puts you in these scenarios where you have to kind of make a decision like, hey, I, this is really steep. I'm going to need the wheel speed. Let me use high range here. But then right when you get past that, you got to put it right back into low because you might be coming up on some rocks soon. I love that. That really adds a bunch of dynamics of realistic rock crawling and trail riding into the gameplay to where, you know, low isn't necessarily going to work all the time, but high is also not necessarily going to work all the time. Man, the realism factor is just off the charts on this map. I love how the, like, the, like, you know, all of the grass and the bushes and the trees and everything, like, just the nature around the trail is starting to grow into it, but, like, the trail gets traversed just enough to keep it at bay, but, you know, you kind of get the sense that if the trail was left to its own devices, it would overgrow pretty quickly. Easy, there we go. Man, this is like, the trails are actually, they're paced so well. They really are, like, in the way that they, you know, if you want to get that realistic vibe and realistic feel, I mean, this is the closest to real-world off-roading that I have seen in SnowRunner in a very long time. And it, whoa, dude, the trail actually drops away right there. You have to watch out for things like that. I love how, like, it's not just flat. It actually legitimately makes you pay attention. Oh, man. That's absolute. that's absolutely beautiful. Like, the fact that he went to all of those tiny little details is just tremendous. And it goes such a long way to the experience of the player. Now, we could either keep going straight and go... Oh, so if we go straight, then it'll go to, like, a viewpoint. But if we go to the right, it'll go even higher up the mountain. Let's go to the right. I mean, as much as I want to see that viewpoint, I think going to the right is going to be the move here. There we go, just a little bit further along. Not bad. Ooh, this is starting to get a little bit gnarly here. You kind of have to be careful where you position your vehicle. Man. All right, easy. And then you've got another one of these, like, strategically placed, like, miniature mud pits. I love how he does these with the placement. Oh, this hole you have to kind of angle through because, again, there's a lot of flip hazards on these trails, and he's strategically placed them to give you a more realistic experience. And here's the thing, too. I haven't even explored, like, I haven't even scratched the surface yet of what this map actually has to offer, but I can already tell you that what it has shown me already is just, like, it's on another level, dude. I mean, look at these views, though. These views are insane. This has quite possibly some of the best views since TNB Trails. And that is saying a ton. I do not say that lightly. Now, does this end or does it go back down the other side? It does go back down the other side. And it actually goes past a lake. Yo! This is one of those maps that you could convoy up with your friends and literally spend hours exploring around this game world. I mean, it just, like, you can get lost in it. You can get lost in it while you're also making your own story. And I know that that might sound kind of cliche, and it might sound a little strange, but it's one of those maps that you can really relax into the experience that you're having. You can relax into the exploration of it all while not worrying so much about missions or timed competitions with friends. You know, like, this is one of those maps that really does simulate the experience of an off-road weekend with your friends while having dynamic spots like that right there where your vehicle is literally you know just barely balanced on the edge of an obstacle and if you attack it too fast you might actually flip over but if you hit it in low range you allow the vehicle to pivot over and position the weight correctly and then you can just you know just kind of slide right down off the rock the way you would in real life oh man it's it's an incredible experience it really really is let it come down nice and easy. Gonna drag bumper a little bit. Yeah, ooh, that would have that would have been a nasty noise if that was real life. Oh, dude, that would have been bad. We would have ripped our rear bumper clean off. And the turns are also not too tight. They're tight enough to where they feel like you actually have to think about what you're doing, but they're not so tight that you're like, you know, having to back up and readjust and back up and readjust all the time. Again, they feel very well tailored to what you would see on an off-road trail in the real world. And I know I've said that a lot in this video, but it really rings true on this map. Like this map just has such an incredible feel to it. And I, I could go 
on and on and on, quite literally, because as I play through this map and as I explore these trails, I'm genuinely getting drawn further and further into the experience, and I just want to continue driving. Like, I know I have no mission, I know that I have no target objective other than to just explore, but on a map that's designed this well, that's enough. That's more than enough. And when you have trails that are this engaging, you know, again, it really just wants to... I know I keep doing this with my hand a lot, but, like, there's no other way for me to really, you know, feel like I can put that emphasis on it. Like, I know that I talk with my hands, and, you know, even though I really should have both hands on the controller while I'm driving, like, sometimes I have to give it that little bit of extra emphasis when I'm really feeling like I have, you know... Like, when I'm really feeling like there's more to the map than I can actually legitimately put into words. Let's see if low plus is enough to get up this hill. Or rather, this rock. It's like a rock ledge, like a rock face. Maybe not on that line. Let's try a different line. Let's angle to the left, and then angle back to the right, and then angle... Oop, yep, there it is. Back to the left again. Not bad. Dude! And you just treat it like a wedge crawl. Oh, that's like... That's incredible. <laughs> I... This is probably the most realistic trail map I've played in recent memory. Let's put it back in standard low. Go ahead and let it walk right through the mud. Again, realism is just the word that keeps coming back to my mind. And it really... There's no better way to convey that feeling of realism than to just, like, honestly tell you guys you've got to play the map for yourselves. Like, you have got to, to experience it. And I don't know if that immersion factor is coming across on video or not, but like regardless of whether or not it is, I encourage you guys so much to go play this map for yourselves. Like this map is an experience all its own. And I, I am sure that that experience and that enjoyment factor will only increase once you add, you know, once you add more people to it in a multiplayer lobby. And speaking of, here's another campsite, which also, again, could add to that camping roleplay factor of it all. God, I just, I could go on and on and on. I mean, look, you even got a little fire pit. That is so freaking cool. Literally, that is like, it's just freaking incredible, dude. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at this absolutely incredible and realistic map by Rockrunner Gaming. And if you did, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.